Yeah, you're squawking and commenting on this my is squawking. Squawk, squawk. Hey, cut it out! You're scaring Steven Jr. <laughs> with less hitting me in the face this time? Well, it would have worked if your movements weren't so erratic and formless. So it was all my fault? Oh, you totally weren't even trying to sync with my dancing. You should know how I dance by now. Stop! Come on, guys, please stop fighting. If you can't get along with each other, I might never get to see your awesome fusion power. <laughs> and I might get eaten by a giant bird. <laughs> Time like this. <gasps> hey, is that the heaven beetle? Let me see it. Uh, hey, uh, be a good goat and give me the magic bug. Uh, uh, I got it. No, oh, a bad goat. You're no son of mine. Ah! See me turn into a giant woman. We're back! The Heaven Beetle. I don't have it. Amethyst, you got distracted! Hey, you were the one getting carried away with all those fancy backflips! Wait a sec! I've got the beetle! Good job, Steven. I also see you helped your teammates fuse. And all I had to do was get eaten by a bird. Nice work. You'll be great at fusing one day. Yeah. Wait, I can do that too? Give us some privacy. Yeah! Let me tell you something, Mr. Universe. I think you can do it. But it won't work if you dance like Pearl. You have to dance like you. You have to fuse your way. Get open. Get honest. Invent yourselves together. That's fusion. I think I get it. <laughs> What's all this?
We, we didn't fuse. What? <laughs> you can't fuse. You're a human. <laughs> I know. That's the problem. I'm just a human. That's not a problem. I love humans. You're all so funny. <sighs> Look, these last few months have been great. Oh, yes. But I'm getting a little worried about the future. Oh, just ask Garnet. I'm starting to wonder if you respect me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you're hilarious, Mr. Universe. <laughs> Rose, please. Can you just talk to me for one second like a real person? I'm not a real person. I thought, haven't we... Is this not how it works? Oh, oh boy. This is so weird. You really are an alien. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you crying? How are we going to make this work? Fusion? No, us. We're really, really different. What do we do now? Let's just talk. I barely know you. That's a good thing. We really rushed into this. Everything on Earth seems fast to me. Do you miss your home planet? No, never. How'd you end up with uh, Harpo, Groucho, and Chico? Huh. Oh, them? Those are three long stories. What are they doing? Shh. Have you loved other humans? Have you? Yes. Yes. Have you ever been in love with a human? How would I know? It's torture. I'm so sorry. Huh? No, don't be. What? Why not? Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> Me too. Well, this is good. We've got one thing in common. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why are they still dancing? It, it didn't work. Yes, it did. What? It worked. I think this one's my favorite. I think he's her favorite too. Whoa. So you guys were never able to fuse? Ah, uh, no, but that wasn't as important as talking to each other. Look, humans and gems, it's still some pretty new territory. You're gonna have to work it out together. And Connie, if you ever need to talk to another human being about this, you can always talk to me. Mm. Human beings? Human beings. Human beings. Is there something I can do? Is there something I can do? Can I make it up to you? Hmm. Peridot's been back here twice. So the odds are good she'll come back again, right? Bam! That's when we'll get her. Yeah, bam! Garnet will be so impressed. And then she'll think I'm cool again. Mm-hmm. Nothing. More nothing. Ah, oh, there she is! No, wait. That's just a weird cactus. I don't think she's coming. Uh, what are you doing? If you make your eyes blurry, it looks like there's a little magic sausage between your fingers. This is stupid. It doesn't even work. Try this. Hey, don't mess with my... Oh. <laughs> well, even if we didn't catch Peridot, at least I taught you a great way to pass the time. <gasps> what? I think I saw something. It's Peridot's escape pod. She fixed it somehow? But I thought we had it. Did she steal it from the temple? Whoa, she, she's lifting the pillar, guys. And she's fixing the hub. What's she doing up there? And hats. Hey, for some reason, Peridot kind of looks like... Pearl? What? Let me see. Oh, no. Why would Pearl rebuild the hub? Maybe she's trying to study how it works? No, I don't think that's it. Maybe she's trying to get us more channels? <gasps> oh, this is no good. What's wrong? It's Peridot. She must have fixed the communication hub again. Darn it, it's the hub again. She's evading my future vision. No matter how many times I try, I can't see us finding Peridot. 
Come on, team. I can't believe Peridot is giving us so much trouble. But it hardly matters, right, Garnet? We can disable this tower as many times as we need to, together, okay? Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? I know Garnet? what she's doing. You do? Stop! Huh? Is something the matter, Amethyst? You... you shouldn't... Pearl, we saw you. What? You need to tell Garnet it was you! I don't understand. I'm sorry. It's just so much fun being sardonyx with you. <sighs> That's why I couldn't see us finding Peridot. Wait, let me explain! You've been fixing the hub! It really was Peridot! Th the first time? You tricked me! No, 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 we just needed a reason to fuse. I just wanted to share a few more victories with you. Those weren't victories. Wait, Garnet! You know, we're so much weaker than you. Fusing with you is like our one chance to feel stronger. Don't defend her. Peridot is out there somewhere and Pearl's been distracting us with nothing. Garnet. That's enough. Amethyst, fuse with me. But. Let's just get this over with. if things worked out the way they do in cartoons. Yeah, it would. How are you here? Oh my gosh, are you okay? Steven, please, I... <laughs> <laughs> Lapis. <laughs> Amethyst? <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Rose, this is wonderful. I'm just having so much fun spending time with you, Rose. Forget about Greg. Let's go travel the galaxy. Pearl, thank you so much for fixing my van. Oh! <laughs> Pearl. Uh, yes, Stephen? I had another dream about Lapis. Oh, that's okay. Dreams aren't real. They're just mixed up movies. But I, I think I was talking to her. Wait, how do you know? I don't, but I could just feel it. She was yelling, and she was really freaked out. What did she say? Is she still in control? I... I don't know. Steven, you could be using your dreams to connect with her mentally. Can you do it again? Maybe Lapis can just tell you where they are. I guess I have to go back to sleep. Quick, Pearl, tell me about your dreams so I can fall asleep. My dream? Come on, Pearl. It's for the greater good. <laughs> if I must. So, in my dream, I was... What? <laughs> wow, he been sleep. Oh, I know this is a dream now. So I can imagine anything I want. A mashed potato. Hmm. Now, how do I find Lapis? Not Lapis. Not Lapis, not Lapis. <sighs> lion? Wait, you're not Lion. Whoa! Ah! <sighs> Ow. What is this place? Uh, lapis! Steven, why do you keep coming back? I can't get distracted. I, I've got to hold us down with the weight of your planet's ocean. I've got to keep her. <sighs> Wait, Lapis, tell me where you are. We can help you. I told you! No! You... Jasper! You... 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 No! Lapis! Can't you see? I can't stop. Not for a second. Don't look for me. I don't want your help. But, but just let me do this for you. Lapis. No, I'm not Lapis anymore. We're Malachite now. 
Lapis, no! Steven, it's okay. We're here. Did you see her? Yeah. She's still fused, and she's still in control, but I don't know for how long, and... This is a weird party. Got it! Steven, you're still awake. Amethyst was on a skateboard, and then Dogcopter meowed at me and was just not interested in what I had to say at all. And I might have some issues I need to work out, but Lapis, she's out there, and she's still... Shh, 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 shh. I know you're worried. But there's nothing we can do right now. So let's take it easy. I'll show you how it's done. That's pretty convincing. Yep, that's me. Always huge, never small, all the, all the time since I was made. Wait a minute. You look different than I thought you would. Oh, here it is. Oh, you must mean my tan. You know, from the sun. Stupid Earth, son! Ah, I hate this planet! Curse this planet! <laughs> well, it's a good thing we finally found you. Yellow Diamond is awaiting your return. We'll take you back to Homeworld right away. No! I, I mean... <clears throat> I, Jasper, have decided to stay on Earth. What? Why? Yeah, why, Jasper? Because I gotta stay here with these guys. Yup. Gotta keep a prisoner for the diamonds. Jasper. Such devotion. Well, Yellow will definitely want to know about this. You'll have to file a report at the nearest diamond base. Where is that? Can't you pass all the way here? You dummies. It's, uh, it's, hmm. Ah! It's there! I gotta hold this all the way to the moon? Uh, hold this. Hold these. Prisoners! Gotta bring the rebel prisoners if we're going to the moon! Can't leave them here, unsupervised. Very well. To the ship! What are you doing? This isn't going to work. You can't hold that phone forever. I can do this. We'll go to the moon, come back, and they'll leave us alone. Just play along. Oh, hey. You guys want to be prisoners, too? Not really. All right. Just checking. Hop, 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 hop. Oh, it's huge in here. I thought it'd be super cramped. Hey, this ain't no pleasure cruise. Yeah, show some respect, you crystal germs. Yeah, you tell them, Jasper. I bet they got those germs from Earth. Aw, oh, curses. I can't believe we've been caught. And by none other than Jasper. So cross over it. Uh-huh, that sure is Jasper, the one that caught us. Harumph. Of all the indignities, do what you want. I'll never talk. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. <laughs> she talks a lot. Go sit over there now. Wow. Jasper's so funny and strong. I was just thinking that. <laughs> this is fun. Jasper. Ah, I'm Jasper. Please feel free to take my seat right up front. The captain's seat. It would be an honor. Yeah. Yes. Sure thing. I hope it's to your liking. It's all right. You can go ahead and head towards the moon base whenever you're ready. Uh, of course. <sighs> uh, uh, listen, I'm Jasper, and I'm too worn out from catching rebels to fly, so I'll just sit here like this, and you work the thing to get us to the moon. Got it? Yes, of course. To the moon, then? To the moon, then! To, to the, the moon, moon then. then! We'll be arriving shortly. Hey, keep my seat warm while I check out our, uh, prisoners. Yes, Jasper, good idea. No! Stay away from us, you brute! Tone it down, Pearl. Oh, that one ruby wants to throw you out into space. Sorry, got a bit carried away. Uh, you okay, Amethyst? You've been holding that form forever now. I've got it under control. Don't be silly, Steven. Of course you are. 
And you're fun to have around, even if your gem is useless. Huh? I mean, you're one of us, Steven. We're not the crystal gems without you. Yeah. Even if I don't have powers, I've still got Cookie Cat! Mm. So good! <laughs> It's a shield. Oh, what? I get a shield? Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, huh? Cookie Cat! I summon my weapon by eating ice cream! What's in these things? What was that? Stay in the house, Steven. No way! I'm coming too! Are you crying? Only a little! Well, I guess your powers don't come from ice cream. Of course they don't come from ice cream. Don't worry, Steven. I'm sure someday you'll figure out how to activate your gem. Yes, in your own steven -y way. I'm okay, guys. I just... Uh, I think I ate too many cookie cats. If that's the only way out, then Dad, slug me in the face. What? I'm not gonna hit you. It's our ticket out of here. One of us has to get hurt. Okay, well, then you hit me. You sure? Yeah, I'll take one for the team. <laughs> Come on, give me all you got. I can take it. <laughs> Cannonball! Uh, how was that? Good. Anyone coming? Doesn't look like it. Should I try it again? There won't be anything left to rescue if you do. What do we do now? Whatever she says. It is time for the choosening. Please gather around the circle of choosening. Stevan, Gareg, the choosening will start soon. Come with us. It's it's finally time. <laughs> <laughs> Gareg, step into the circle with us. Is it somebody's birthday? Stevan, wait here until the choosing is complete. 
The Choosening is a very special event to us. We're glad to have you with us at such a wonderful time. Glad to be here. Let the Choosening begin. You twelve, please step into the center of the circle. F3, please step into the center of the circle. You have been chosen for each other. Wait a second. Is this some kind of matchmaking thing? Ah, there's always a catch to these utopias. Gareg, whoever is chosen for you will be very lucky. J10, please step into the center of the oh circle. Boy. Steven, help me. Don't worry, Dad. You're new here, so maybe you won't get chosen. Right. Gareg, please step into the center of the circle. Hold on. Maybe there's been a mistake. Gareg, J10 is waiting for you. I see what is going on here. You do? You were just shy. Huh? Do not worry about it. <laughs> now, touch hands. Hold on. This isn't how it works on Earth. I don't want to be told who to be chosen with. Greg, this makes no sense. Why wouldn't you want to be chosen? Look, back on Earth, there was no voice to tell you who to be with. It was your own decision. My mom and dad didn't get together because someone told them to. They spent time getting to know one another and fell in love. They chosen each other because that's what they chose. Hmm, I see. If that's how it's done on Earth, then... I choose Gareg. And I also choose Gareg. I choose Gareg. Wait! I got a say in this too. You're all very nice, and I'm flattered, and yes, you get to choose whoever you want, but I also get to say that I choose, uh, none of you. <laughs> <laughs> You can choose someone else. I feel not good. I feel bad. Could this be? Is this hurt? Why would Garrick hurt us? Take this hurt away. I choose an, uh, to take my dad and run away. <laughs> Watch out for that. this many hearts since I had all my hair. He's ready to answer your question. Use this. What would he say if he saw me now? He'll say, I'm happy to see you. You're lying. Nobody's happy to see me. He'll say, it's been too long. I'm too late. I should have come sooner. I don't know. I'm just a boy in a costume. Oh, of course. Everything in my life's a disappointment. Zoltron sees sadness in your future, no matter what you do. That sounds about right. I guess the curtain really did close on Mr. Smiley and Mr. Frowny. You're here to see Mr. Smiley? <laughs> Nobody misses our act, not even him. Oh, I don't know why I'm talking to a machine. I'll just get on the bus and leave. Zoltron says that's a question for your doctor. Uh, Mr. Smiley! Mr. Smiley! Hey, don't break character. You broke enough things today. I met Mr. Frowny. What? He's in town. Uh, how did you know him? We used to have a routine. Oh, comedy. But he didn't seem very funny. Actually, he was really depressing. Yeah, that was the bit. At least I thought it was, but even off stage, he was always sad. Nothing would cheer him up. Not even a packed house, not a standing ovation. Not even me. Boy, did I try. Well, he's about to leave town on a bus. You should go talk to him before it's too late. I don't know what happened if I did. Wow, funny running into you. Of course, I'm still a punchline, aren't I? Hey, wow, you look great. That's your best joke yet. Hi, buddy. Is that all you have to say? Zoltron sees sadness in your future, no matter what you do. 
Ugh, come on, Steven, drop the act. Oh, wait a second. You said you were always trying to make him happy. Did he even know that he was making you sad? You said he was getting on a bus? Yeah. Harold? Quentin. How do you know I was here? Little robot boy from the future told me. Uh, hi again. He came to life! <laughs> no, fool! Did you just come here to laugh at me? No! I'm here to tell you that I wanted it to work, our act. But it wasn't making you happy. I just wanted you to take it seriously. And I just wanted you to have fun. Oh, I guess it was never going to work. But I really thought we had something. You having a bad day, Frowning? Horrible. Well, why don't you go outside? The sun always cheers me up. I did, but it rained. Why don't you use an umbrella? I did, but it blew away. Ooh, you must have been shocked. Yeah, that's when the lightning hit me. Oh. Smiley, what do you do when you're feeling down? I just take my frown and turn it around. <laughs> hey, you're ruining the bit. I thought you were a professional. <laughs> <sighs> I think I finally got the joke. Log date, 7132. Progress on the cluster drill is going optimal, surprisingly. Though I have a few complaints on the work ethic of... Hey! <laughs> Amethyst, really, this is no time to be fooling around. Aw, oh, come on, P. I'm just trying to lion the mood. Lion the mood. Mm. Do you always use shape-shifting like this? You mean to be really cool? Pretty much. But it's such a significant, significant use of energy, energy compared, compared to the, to the output. output. What was that? I've been practicing my peri phrasing. Pretty impressive in my opinion, but it's hard to beat the original. <laughs> so, can you shift into anything? Sure. Got a request? Brock, brock, I'm a chicken. <laughs> I get the joke now. <laughs> yes, well, at least she isn't lying around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl really tries for some reason, and I can appreciate that. Amethyst's company is entertaining as well, but the fused one... eludes me. Okay, we can add more support as we go, but for now, we just have to pick it up and put it on top. No sweat. Let's do this! You've got the right idea, but we might want to be a bit more careful. Gotcha. <clears throat> Shall we? <sighs> that looks great. Let's take a break. What? All right, I'm at my limit. Evening, Peridot. Explain it to me, Fusion. I can at least make sense of your existence if it's for a functional purpose. But you? You're not using your combined size and strength to do anything. I'm doing something. And what's that? Stargazing. Ugh. You can do that alone. Don't want to. Hmm. You can see Homeworld's galaxy from here. You're right. We're very different. I appreciate that. Really? If you really want to understand fusion, I can help you. What do you mean? Let's fuse. Oh, my stars! I get it. You're not ready. That's fair. Another time, then. No! Uh, no, no, no! Just... just give me a sec. Yeah. Get ready. Uh, no, 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 no! I can't do it. That's fine. Peridot, I'm proud of you. Why?! because you made an effort to understand me. But I still don't understand you! Why aren't you fused 
it all the time. I'm Percy and Pierre. Oh. Okay, go. Log day <gasps> seven fourteen two. No, you say it seven one four two. Ugh. Log date seven one four two. I have attempted a fusion with the fusion garnet. I had hoped to gain a better understanding of fusion. Instead, I gained a better understanding of garnet. Wait, keep on a moment, Stephen. You probably shouldn't have listened to Paradox Logs, but I know your curiosity comes from a place of caring. You should give the recorder back to her now. She's going to want to keep it. Wait, what? Here, Paradox, take this back. Wow, thanks. You're coming from all over? Ow! Hey! Stop it! Whoa! Uh. Huh? Uh, I won't let you! I was right. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna die. A tired, frozen little sad sack. Take deep breaths. So this is what you saw. I don't care about that! I do. I should have listened to you. You're a crystal gem too. Stephen, are you okay? Amethyst heard the warp pad activate and Garnet said you were floating outside the stream and... Uh, what is that? You don't know? Whoa, that thing's far out. It's some kind of space robot. There were tons of them. And it looked like they were all going to the same place. Huh? Doing to the whole world more. There's a million of them. They fixed it? What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Log date, 312. This is Peridot, performing Earth Hub maintenance check. Peridot. Her name is Peridot. Mm -hmm. Prepare success. All 79 flask robinoids deployed and accounted for. Preparing to locate and manually reactivate kindergarten. <laughs> The little ones are like her babies. <gasps> now to access the domestic warp. Huh? Huh. This site may have been compromised. Gem? Where did she come from? What was she trying to do? Huh? It doesn't matter. Oh. Oh. Ah! She's not coming back. Yeah. Jenny, 
You're working the counter. I know, right? Things have been crazy since the war has been back on. The phones have been ringing off the hook. I'll get it. Thanks for calling Fish Stew Pizza. We do fries now. Anyway, I'm obligated to tell you about our special new menu item. French fry pizza with a French fry crust and twice baked French fries on the side. Because <sighs> we do fries now. I'd rather just have my usual... Steven! Oh, hey, Kofi. Before you place your order, you must sign these papers and pledge your allegiance to Fish Stew Pizza. Not only that, you'll be issued a brand new permanent <laughs> VIP Pizza Eater card. Ah! Steven, come back! <gasps> hey, Steven, you, you forgot your pizza bits. What? Huh? Steven, <laughs> let me reward you for being such a good customer. Uh... Thank you all for coming. Ronaldo, Kiki, Jenny, and Petey. I've called you all here tonight because this war between your parents has to stop. Steven, how do you think we feel? Do you know how many metal concerts I've missed because of this war? How many? Mmm, like one? Do you know how much blogging I haven't been able to do? I don't, but this is all my fault. If only my taste buds weren't so adventurous but I promise to find a way to work this out. How? There's no end in sight to all this fighting. Hmm. We need to stop this hate with some sort of opposite of hate. Oh, Ronaldo! Hmm? Kiki! Hmm? You're sitting next to each other. Where are you going with this, Steven? You guys should pretend to be in love. There won't be any time for fighting if your families have to plan a wedding together. Well, I guess we could try. Anything to get this war over with. All right! We'll fight this war with the power of love. No way! We can't do this because I have a girlfriend. Where's she at, though? You said what I was thinking. Okay, you don't have to pretend to get married. Just pretend to be in love long enough to get this feud over with. I got a bad feeling about this. Shut up, Ronaldo! Nothing bad is going to happen. And you'll get to spend time with the cutest girl in Beach City. <laughs> ah, Kiki, my darling. Oh, Ronaldo, my sweet. My dear sweet Kiki, who I love with all my blog. What the? <laughs> oh, Ronaldo, you're so sweet and quirky in a way I can tolerate. Kiki, why aren't you in here working your shift? Yeah, come on, Ronaldo. We got customers to take care of. But, Dad, ever since this war started, I've had to spend countless hours away from my beloved Kiki. What? It's true. The only way for us to be together is if we quit working. Are you telling me that you two are involved in a romantic relationship? That's right, Steven. We have been for some time now. Mm hmm You two are only hugging, right? Uh, yes, sir. Just hugs and longing looks. <laughs> well, Kofi, love is a beautiful thing. Yes, love is beautiful. We must end this feud in order for this love to blossom. Yeah, the restaurant war is officially over. Ronaldo? I come all this way to return your koala princess DVDs, only to find you with another girl? What? Jane, my sweet! This was all just a trick to get my dad to stop selling mozzarella sticks! Save it for your blog. <laughs> huh, police tape. <gasps> awesome. I'm above the law. Who wants to go for a swim? Pants become shorts. Oh. <laughs> Lars, don't go in there. It's dangerous. Steven, you trying to scare us. Build an atmosphere. I appreciate that. Ooh. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I'm not that slow. <laughs> hey, what are you doing, man? Your mom? 
I know what we have to do. This is all your fault. I knew if something went wrong today, it would be because of you. Now I'm never going to be friends with these guys, all because of your weird mom. What do you know about my mom? I didn't even get to know my mom. But I do know she saw beauty in everything, even in stuff like this, and even in jerks like you. Now help me get them to the car. Lars, <laughs> 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 hurry! <laughs> this moss belongs on the top of that hill. Come on, Lars, what are you waiting for? Ah, uh, Steven, I don't know how to drive a stick shift. I'll work the stick. You just keep us on the road. Okay, all right, let's do this. Ignition! Stick power! Steven, no! Put it in reverse! when we get to the top of that hill. I don't know. You don't know? That's just where the moss wants to be. Ah! Oh. Ah! It's getting everywhere. Ah! <laughs> we made it. We're almost there. What do we do now? We gotta get up there. Ah! Hurry! Ah! I'm getting stuck. Ah! Oh, don't give up. Steven. What? This sucks. Oh! Lar! <laughs> the moss was just trying to bloom. Ugh, what happened? I think I died. Guys, look! Whoa. Whoa! You can see all of Beach City from up here. It's beautiful. Yeah. How did we even get here? Well, Steven thought that... Lars drove us here! Oh, yeah, Lars. Lars. Our town looks Super so cool, good. Lars. I can totally rave to this. Go, 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 go. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <gasps> Am I supposed to do something here? Whoa. Inside of Lion's Mane, anyway. <gasps> and he keeps sleeping on Stephen's face. But Stephen doesn't want me watching him anymore, so one of you two has to do it. Sadie! Sadie! Stephen, you know donuts aren't ready for another hour. Really? Come on! stage fright here. Tell us about yourself. Well, let's see here. My name is Greg. No, 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 this is all wrong. Okay, go! They call me 
Mr. Universe! Get ready, baby. You're gonna have the coolest dad this side of the cosmos. Whoa. Press the button, Rose. Oh, right. <laughs> Was that the right one? Uh, maybe. Now, what does this one do? Isn't it remarkable, Stephen? This world is full of so many possibilities. Each living thing has an entirely unique experience. The sights they see, the sounds they hear, the lives they live are so complicated and so simple. I can't wait for you to join them. Stephen, we can't both exist. I'm going to become half of you. And I need you to know that every moment you love being yourself, that's me loving you and loving being you because you're going to be something extraordinary. You're going to be a human being. Hey, Rose! Take care of them, Stephen. Hey, Sadie, come on, we gotta open up. What in the world did you guys watch? Hey, Mom, you know how I said you didn't have to make me those lunches anymore? This is amazing! Mm-hmm! It's invisible! Huh? What? He's not invisible. He's pink! Pink? How can he be invisible and pink? There's nothing out here, Ronaldo. Steven was lying. Sorry for using the same pun twice. No! I'm telling the truth! He's real! Onion! You believe me, right? <laughs> huh? <gasps> hey! Hey, Lion! You left me at the pizza place! I looked like a fool! I had to eat a whole pizza by myself! <laughs> Lion? Lion, no! <sighs> Lion? <sighs> Keep it down, Steven. What was that for? The pillow? Is this what you wanted? This pillow? I've been trying to play with you and feed you because I thought we were best friends. Did all of that mean nothing to you? Ah! Fine! I don't care! If you want it, you can have it! <laughs> Steven! The desert glass! It's rebuilding its castle. Why didn't you bubble it earlier? Welcome to Shrug City, P. Don't move! We're coming! Okay! There it is! The pillow! I have to get it off the sand! Hey This wall's not moving! We gotta get through before things get any!
have done this in the first place. In my defense, I forgot. So I guess this is goodbye. We had some good times, but I'm sure you have other magical stuff to smash with other magical boys. I love you, Steven. I want to stay with you forever. <gasps> really? Guys, you hear that? Are we really going to let him keep that? We kept Amethyst. Oh! I <laughs> kept Amethyst! Oh, darn it! That's priceless! <laughs> Yay, Lion! Wink! Hey, Tiger! Are you ready to win our final match? Amethyst, am I the cruelest creature on the planet? <laughs> oh, Steven, those are just words people use to describe how they feel about you. Listen, Steven, you can't let anyone make you feel like garbage. Is that how you feel? I only feel how I want to feel. Ladies and gentlemen, fans of wrestling, welcome to the Tag Team Championship! In the ring tonight, they stumped their way through the tournament and into our hearts. Give it up, y'all. Give it up for Dashing Dave Duber and Handsome Hank Hagelschmidt! Only one thing would make these men look better, folks, is the tag team belts. But standing in their way, the ruthless kings of the jungle, they'll eat your kids and fire your parents. Ooh, yes, it can only be the Purple Puma and Tiger Millionaire. Don't you dare hurt those men, you monsters. Man, people are really hating on Tiger M. He's awful because he hurt me specifically. Oh. Pearl, a garnet! What are you doing? What are we doing? What is this? I thought we could use some promotion. Looks like we have some new opponents. No, you don't. This match is canceled. Oh. What? Why? Why? I can't believe you've been sneaking off to this, this circus of violence, and you, using your gem powers on humans. It's not enough that you're on my case all the time. You have to ruin this for me, too. We're not here to fight. Steven, Amethyst. What? Go back to the temple. I don't want to! <gasps> don't do this. jungle. So wild, the other cats couldn't take it. So she, I mean he, went to look for somewhere he fit in. Somewhere with other people who felt misunderstood. That really sounds like Steven. <laughs> That's why we're all here, to be wild and free, and body slam each other, and wear cool costumes, and make up nicknames. And, and, uh, so can't we just have this? Can't we just wrestle? No, <gasps> because we are the notorious order of wrestling haters. That's right. Um, we want to stop all wrestling everywhere. Are you going to let us destroy all wrestling? <laughs> you gotta say wrestling. Come on, Tiger Puma. Tiger Puma. Tiger. We'll stop you. What a stunning turnaround. The Jungle Duo are fighting back. And they've taken down Captain Square. Wait, wait, wait. It's the, it's the good-looking gang with a ladder. Are, are they planning to steal the belt? No! Oh, they're actually helping Tiger up. He's climbing and... Sorry for him. Um, sorry. Same here. Tiger Mayna has claimed the tag team belt. Tiger and Puma have won the championship and saved wrestling. Flores, I'm really confused. I love you, Tiger Millionaire. <sighs> Still mad about Kevin? Yes. Me too. You don't seem mad. I'm thinking mad. I still feel like there's something big I want to say to him, you know? Something to make him think. 
like we're thinking. Yeah, too bad we can't just race against him to use the first place ribbon to wipe that smug look off his face. But we're kids. Kids can't drive. That's against the law. We weren't kids when we met, Kevin. I smell what you're stepping in. Ew. Uh, my practice didn't pay off at all. That was so bad. I know, baby. I'm the worst. Anyone else think they can beat me and my Himitsu X12 on the downhill course? Step right up. Come on, how am I gonna get a cool down lap if no one wants to go? I'll race you. Huh? Oh! Oh! Huh. Is that a 96 Supremo? Uh, I think it's a Don Dai. A Supremo is a Don Dai! Wow, really? Are you saying you don't know the true power of the Supremo? Uh... Huh. That's why I knew those brats at the car wash. They're you. Your whole two kids in a beautiful trench coat routine won't fool me this time, so don't even try it. You don't know what you're talking about. I'll show you what I'm made of when I beat you at this race. <laughs> I see what's going on here. Do you? You've had a taste of Kevin, and now you're obsessed. What? I get it. I have that effect on people. It's cute, but aren't I a little old for you? Ah! Do you want to race or not? The start is at the top of the mountain. We go when the clock strikes the hour. First one to the bottom wins, but you don't have to worry about that last part. <laughs> that guy is going down. You know, this mountain pass has some really beautiful views. Shame you'll only be seeing my taillights the whole time. You wish. It's Kevin time. Shoot! <laughs> I won't let you win. Oh my gosh, this is it! Are they gonna crash? No! We're about to witness the true power of the Supremo! Oh. This is a little clingy. Uh. Feel like giving up yet? Uh. Why do you have to be such a jerk all the time? The truth is, I don't mean to be this way. I, I just lash out because of my little brother. <sighs> He's sick. broken. See, this is why we wear seat belts, kids. Lapis! I don't want to fight anymore! I said I don't want to fight! Steven? Lapis, I'm coming up to see you. So please don't drown me. Wait, Steven! <laughs> Lapis! 
What are you doing here, Steven? What? I... No! What are you doing here? This thing! The ocean! This is crazy! Can't we work this out? We gems should be friends! Whoa. Don't you know anything, Steven? You're friends. They don't really care about other gems. All they care about is the Earth. But I never believed in this place. I just want to go home. I know how important home can be, but that's why I'm here. You took the ocean away, and the ocean is an important part of my home. I'm only using the ocean because my gem is cracked. If I just stretch it far enough... Oh, this is never going to work. Oh, I can fix your gem! I have healing powers! Wait, you have healing powers? I know, right? Oh, what should I... Oh, uh, sorry. This might be a little weird. What? <sighs> Thank you, Stephen. No prob, Bob. It's Lapis. Yeah. Okay. Bye. into me. Right. And I have two eyeballs, which I don't. You expect me to believe anything, don't you? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me four times, you already fooled me. And you can't fool me again. Look, I can prove it. I have a rose quartz gem. That's more of a pinkish red than a real rose quartz reddish pink. That's because you're looking at it through my bubble. Hold on. Here, check this out. Look, I can summon her shield. It's got a rose on it and everything. Who cares about her shield? Her huge sword is what I remember. Uh, I left that in my life. Look, tell me you don't see the resemblance. Are you kidding me? You're despicable. I'm gonna die out here and you're just gonna make fun of me until we do! <sighs> you're even crueler than Rose Quartz. Uh... Uh... Eyeball! Eyeball! That's not mine! Oh, oh great! Asteroid's incoming! Find cover, soldier! I am in cover! You get somewhere safe! <laughs> I think I'm losing my luster. We're heading right for that big one! No! Oh? Oh. I'm alive. We made it. <laughs> I'm unstoppable. I'm all. Oh no. No. I got you! Oh, jeez. You okay? Get off me! Whoa, what's wrong? Ay, ay, ay! Your gem is cracked! Right! This is just perfect! Don't worry, I can fix your gem! I'm not falling for any of your tricks! <laughs> I'm serious. I can help. Fine. I guess I got nothing else to lose. Oh, thank you. What was that supposed to be? What in the cosmos is wrong with you? See? It worked! I... I can't... 
can't believe it! There were rumors back during the war that Rose Quartz could heal her crystal gem soldiers, keeping her small army in contention with the superior forces of Homeworld. Wow! It really is you! Rose Quartz! See? That's what I was trying to tell you. <laughs> yep, it's me, the mighty Rose Quartz. <laughs> this mess. <laughs> the mighty rose quartz. <laughs> I never thought I'd get a chance like this. I can't believe you're all mine! Huh? Hello? Connie? Are you still at Steven Universe's house? I'm on my way. Dad, no! You know how bad you are at driving in the snow. It's way too rough out here. I'm almost at Beach City, so start putting on your shoes. I see some headlights. Is that him? Don't worry, I got it this time. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Dad, stop the car! You're right in front of us! I got it. I got it. I, oh, 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 I don't got it. I don't have anything! Whoa, sorry, Steven. Are you okay? Connie, what's going on? Everything keeps repeating. Hey, come on, kids. We gotta get going if we're gonna beat the storm. I'll start the van. Carabina! Carabina! Hey, what the? Uh, the... My keys! I'm not gonna find those till spring! Come on, Connie. What? Hey! Let's go back to my place. But my parents! No, Connie, you have to listen to me. If we leave Beach City, bad things are gonna happen. I've seen it. Bad things. Several bad things. Um, okay. Let me just call my mom and tell her. Mom, this is Connie. I'm staying at Stevens overnight. Oh, no, you're not, young but lady. You're mom. coming home. Right Dr. Maheshwaran, you can't let your husband leave the house. He can't drive in the snow. What? Wait, yes, I can. Please, trust me. What? Ah! Hey! <laughs> Hold it steady. We have to send this to the galaxy warp without warping ourselves. This is too risky. No, it's not. Get over it. If the shooting star goes off mid-warp, it could explode forever in warp space. And even if we do manage to destroy the entire galaxy warp, they could still find another way to get here. Uh, what you doing? Stephen? Pearl, no! <laughs> uh, what? Garnet, what happened? I passed my ability to you for just a moment. You mean, I had future visions? Tell me what you saw. I saw some good things, but mostly bad things. And now you can make the right choice. Hmm. Connie, we have to go right this instant. Would you look at this? An entire inch of snow. Dad, there's no time. We gotta go now. Whoa! Connie. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Nice sweatshirt, Greg. Ah, oh, thanks. Well, we better get going. Bye, Connie. Sorry we can't stay and watch the snow. Yeah. It's starting to get pretty bad out there. I don't know if you universes should be driving in this weather. Why don't you both stay here tonight? <gasps> really? Wow, Mom. That's really cool. It's just safer that way. We Maheshwarans are all about safety. I'll make up the couch. A couch? Ooh la la, Chateau Maheshwaran.
beat Mania. Steven, where are you going? <gasps> huh? Garnet, you gotta come, quick! Ooh, Garnet! Those little guys are back and, and they're a problem! <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! I've never seen anyone get this far. But you gotta get back and help the others! Got it? Got it, come on! Got it! Hey! This is serious! Pearl and Amethyst are in trouble! Got it! Why are you so hard to climb? Got it! That's rare. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'll save you, got it. Well done. Tasty. Now you're cooking. <laughs> Meet the beat. Time to turn up the heat. The rhythm has her. The only way to defeat the beat is with meat. A new cook has entered the kitchen. I have to win! Let's meet it! Prepare your meats. Shake it. Tenderize. <gasps> player one wins. Your toast, player two. Eat it up. A player two barbecue. My last shot! Let's meet it! Rack those ribs. Spice it up! Thrill is in the grip. You're toasted. This is it! <laughs> player one wins. Your toast, player two. I can't do it! Garnet, snap out of it! What's wrong with you? You've got to stop playing this horrible game! Steven. Garnet! You won. <laughs> it was you! You've been breaking my game! Pearl, Amethyst! Yeah. I can help too! Oh no, no, no! Don't you go flippity flopping out of here! Yeah! I'm working! See? Hmm? A quarter! Float! The captain has turned on the seatbelt sign. Looks like we've got some boys in the sky ahead of us. Oh. Each city looks so small from up here. Oh man, I want to jump around Funland. Huh? Hmm. I guess it might take a while to land. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped so high. Oh, Steven, how do you keep getting in these predicaments? Hmm? Hey, it's Amethyst. She could help me. Amethyst, hey, over here! Yo, Steven, are you still up? Last chance for some cake. Ah, she can't hear me, I'm too far away. <gasps> no, no, look up here. Hey, who's the wise guy? She saw me. She saw me. Oh, there's Steven. Just flying around. <laughs> no, Amethyst, come back! Wait, can Steven fly? Yeah, I think I remember that. No, no, I'm thinking of Lapis. Hey, Steven! How did you learn how to fly? Amethyst, go get help! What? Uh, she can't hear me. 
Hey, Air Steve. Amethyst, I need you to... Dang, too slow. Better ask quicker. What'd you say? I could really use your assistance dealing with the sudden appearance... Aw, oh, rats. <gasps> of a power which previously was unbeknownst to me and which I can't control. Um... Dude, summarize. <sighs> Go get Garnet. Hmm... Well, Garnet? Hmm... What are you all doing? Steven is falling! He needs our help! I'll catch you, Steven! I think it's gonna be oh. a while. I found a phone. Whose is it? That's not important. Hello? Ground control to Steven Universe. Steven, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. See? He's got this. Not exactly. I think this is some kind of new power. Rose could regulate the speed of her descent. Yeah, and she could control how fast she fell. That's what I said. Steven, try falling a little faster. I can't figure out how, and it's taking forever to reach the ground. Can you guys just keep me company until I land? Is it a broom? No, it's a spear! Hey, Steven, why's your alarm going off? <gasps> 6.55 a.m. That should give me enough time to get to the big donut right when it opens at 7. <sighs> oh, nuts! My donuts! Guys, I need to get down right now! What's the hurry, dude? You got nowhere to be. He's clearly very tired from being up all night, and he's eager to get some sleep. There's how are we supposed to do that? Maybe we could weigh him down? It's not enough! Keep it coming! <clears throat> what? <clears throat> oh no, it can't be true. Myself if you guys keep What's taking him so long. I didn't think mine was very difficult. Do you think he hurt himself? There's no way. It's impossible for him to fail. Ugh. So what's the point? The point is that he's come so far. He can make Rose's bubble, and he's pulled out Rose's shield twice, but he's lost his healing powers. We have to give him another success. He can't lose his confidence like that again. We're bad at this. What? Yeah, you can't control him, and he shouldn't be taking advice from me, and we don't have Rose to tell us what to do. But he needs us to show him how to be a gem. Steven is not just a gem. There has never been anything or anyone like Steven. We don't know what he needs.
Congratulations! Congratulations, Stephen! Yeah, yeah! Congrats, little man! <laughs> Stephen! Yes! Well done! Yeah! yeah. Stephen! Yeah. You did it! <laughs> Thank goodness you made it! How did it go? I can't believe you guys. That was so. insane! Where do I even begin? Man, you should have seen me. That boulder was coming at me, and I just jumped for it. And then the tiles were going like ping pong bing. And I was like, I see what's going on here. And I thought, there's no way I could have been ready for all that fire and lava and spikes, but I did it. I really did it. I, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for doing this for me. This was just what I needed. Oh, Steven. Aw, <laughs> shucks, guy. Hmm. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, you the man. I knew you could do it. Go back? Let it be known that I, Peridot, refuse to move forward or back until I am victorious. Right. I don't get it. I'm smarter than your average Peridot. How did I fail today against some barely functional, stupid, cloddy dum-dum? Hey, hey, corruptions aren't dumb. They just think a little different. That's all. Okay, just to make sure my Earth vocabulary is correct on this, let's say I'm a monster. I spend all my time slamming my face into hard objects and throwing my tongues in the air for fun. How am I not dumb? Well, she must be doing something, right? She hasn't fallen for any of your parry plants. It's luck! Nothing that thing does makes any sense! Hey. Why are you bombarding me with your confectionery, Pop Rocks? To show you what it's like to be a monster. Pretend I'm a freaked out human screaming at you in fear. Pretend I'm an earth animal chasing you away from your first safe hiding spot. Pretend I'm an angry green gem trying to poop you. This is life for you now. Endless suffering. There, you see? Yeah. What you're doing makes total sense. You remember what it was like to have everything important taken away? Being under attack? Feeling trapped? You were frustrated. So is she. Why don't you try thinking about all of this from her point of view? Hmm. You can do it. Ugh. I can't take this dirty tongue flapper seriously. Think like a monster. It's okay! We don't want to fight! Just let Paradox bubble you! We can all get along! left. We knew it'd be funny. Future vision. Y you were all watching this whole time? I told you I could do it. But I have to admit, it was more difficult than expected. This corrupted gem was truly an adversary worthy of my skill. Whoa, Peridot! Nice bubble, Perry! W what do I do with it? Send it off. 
Just tap the top. Happy trail. Okay, I'll see you later. Uh, I hope the stars will align for us to meet again. I'm sure they will. Bye, music man. I can sing. <laughs> what? <laughs> man, Greg, you really missed out. The Dahlia's friends were wild and crazy. Glad that town wasn't a total waste. I met some wild ladies, too. They change shape and appear out of beams of light. Uh, 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 uh. Save the poetry for Empire City, Star Child. We've got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. I'm serious, Marty. Something's going on back there. Are you nuts? Just wait till you see what's ahead of us. It's fame! Hey, what's jammed in your tape deck? You've been putting pennies in here, you weirdo. Play something for me, Star Child. Do you believe in destiny? Close your eyes and leave the rest to me. Snore! You're gonna put people to sleep with that. Where's the schlock coming from? I, I just can't stop thinking about that woman at the show. Oh, here we go. How big was she? Eight feet tall, massive hair. See, Greg, this is your problem. Don't get distracted by these small town girls. They don't matter. Ugh, Marty, women are people. Just follow my lead. I'm gonna get you everything you want. What if I wanna go back? What? What if I want to go back and be with her? No one cares about your feelings, Greg. They're making you lose sight of what's really important. Watch the road! But why do you always decide what's important? Because I'm your manager and you're just some spaced out kid. I'm taking you to the city and you're gonna play and you're gonna like it. Maybe you'll even make me some money for once. Get out of my van. Sit down, Greg. I said, get out of my van! What are you doing? You're making a huge mistake! Hey, are you in there? I can play for you now. I even revamped my awesome set. This one's for you, mystery woman. Do you believe in destiny? Close your eyes and leave the rest to me. Do you believe in fantasy? I have to when it's right in front of me. Oh, what are you doing here? In the real world, what are you doing here? So close I could touch you. What are you doing here? And what are you doing to me? Oh, you're wearing the... shirt. Please go away. I I'm sorry, did I? Oh, you're awfully cute. But your life is short and you have dreams. I won't let you give up on everything you want. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Huh? You're everything I want! <laughs> what are you smiling about? You loved her. Come here, you. <laughs> oh, man, Marty was the worst. Oh, yeah, he was awful. But I guess I owe him a lot. He made it easy for me to stay. I'm glad you did. Yeah. Garnet? <laughs> what was that?
aren't it? So this is what Homeworld thinks of Fusion. We couldn't have known they would do this. This is where they've been. All the ones we couldn't find. They've been here the whole time. Rose couldn't have known. This is punishment for the rebellion. It's not our fault. Garnet! S Steven. Yo, we're back. <sighs> Garnet, we lost Peridot. Her fingers were too fast for us. Um, what are these things? Put them down! <sighs> what? We need to poof and bubble all of them. We can't let any escape. Oh, hey, Garnet. How's it going? Still damp. Oh, right, the clothes. There are towels in there. Do we even have plumbing up here? How do you get the washer and dryer to work? Magic. <laughs> Are you all right? I wish you hadn't seen that. Oh, it's okay. It's not okay. Why? What Homeworld did. Taking the shattered parts of fallen gems and combining them. Those gems weren't asked permission. Fusion is a choice. Those gems weren't given a choice. It isn't right. It isn't fusion. What's it like, being a fusion? You fused. I mean, like, all the time. Do you forget who you used to be? You forget you were ever alone. You know, when you fuse, you don't feel like two people. You feel like one being. And your old names might as well be names for your left arm and your right. When you split up, is it like you disappear? I embody my, I mean, Ruby and Sapphire's love. I'll always exist in them even if I split apart. But the strength of that love keeps me together, so I can stay garnet for a very long time. That's why you're so great. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Don't want to break up a pair. Yeah, you're right. They belong together. On your marks, ready, steady, go! <laughs> High five, accepted. <laughs> huh? High five, accepted. Give me digits, five, Amethyst. Accepted. <laughs> One point for Steven already. Good thinking, Amethyst. Going easy on him will build his confidence. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a natural at going easy. Your next test is agility. Dodge the spears the best you can. <laughs> Defeat accepted. Whoa. Victory! Victory! Don't go too easy on him. He still needs a challenge. And now, for your final test, an all-out battle. This is the ultimate determination of your skills. Okay, ready? Go! Come and get me, you hollow punks! <laughs> <laughs> Victory accepted. Congratulations, Stephen. You earned the final point. It's time for you to pick a prize from the prize pouch. Lonely Blade versus Outgoing Fist. Round one, fight. Flying Blade. Blade. KO. Even my fists are dead. Hey, Amethyst, do you want to play Lonely Blade with me? I warmed up the controller for you. <sighs> yeah, all right. There's a new costume for Lonely Blade, Blue Lonely Blade. You should play as him. Whatever. Lonely Blade versus Lonely Blade. My blade is the best in all the land. Round one, fight! Boomerang Blade! Boomerang Blade! Huh, this is tough. Are those bars always there? The health bars? Yeah. Right, right. Blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, you're doing so well. I've been trying to master that combo for months. You got it in like one try. Oh man, there's no way I could beat you. One thousand mirror blade. Aya! KO. My blade is the loneliest after all. That was crazy good, Amethyst. Nice job. Knock it off, Steven. I know you let me win. What? Me? No, I... No. You weren't even trying. I'm sorry. I just wanted you to feel better. Great. And now you're even more mature than me. Amethyst? You're supposed to be the rookie, but now you're better than me at everything. Now I'm the worst crystal gem. What? Ugh. You know what I mean, Steven. Uh, not really. I thought you guys wanted me to be strong. And, and now I am, and you're mad at me? No, I get mad at myself. That's uh, the thing I do. I get mad at myself, and then it makes me suck at everything I do even more. Uh, Amethyst, you don't suck. You do so many cool things. You have two whips, two whips. And the dash thing? Amethyst, you're so much better than me. No way. You have Rose's shield, and bubble, and the floating thing, and uh, I'd just be floating all day. Whoa, look at all this armor. Press my nose, press my nose. The... Are those light cannons? Next, axes. axes. Spiky chain balls. A, a giant... giant... Penny? Does that mean it's worth more than a regular penny? Well, that would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> this is so great, but I get the feeling, though, I'm not really supposed to be here. I want you here. I mean, I don't want you here. I guess Lion wants us here, but I want us to be at the movies, and I want to see lots of explosions. <laughs> Should we be worried about this? Uh... <laughs> Lion doesn't seem to be worried. Cold. Thanks. Well, we're here. Shall we go in? That's that's okay. Let's let's just forget about it. Huh? I I'm sorry. Ugh, I ruined everything, didn't I? I don't know why you hang out with me. I mess stuff up all the time. I don't know why you hang out with me. I'm so much more less interesting than you. And obviously you have some sort of magical destiny. Why would you even care about something like Dog Copter? Why? Because it's Dog Copter! He's a dog, and a helicopter, and a cop! He shoots missiles out of his butt, and he's gonna save the world! Dog Copter is very cool and important to me. Well, I'm no Dog Copter. What the? Oh no! It's the robot shooting thing! How are we supposed to beat it? Lion, what do we do? This is weird, right? You have a sword in your head? Why don't you tell me you can do these things you do? It came through! Yeah. <laughs> 
magical destiny practice. The whole town is here, plus some. Oh, my Sadie, such a big star. Never even went to the prom, and look at you now. Am I on yet? Sadie Miller, you're the mystery guest? I never even would have recognized you. Oh, hi, Mr. Smiley. Uh, um, how, uh, how are you? I'm fine, but it looks like someone here has a case of the showbiz shakes. You know what an old friend of mine told me once? A little smile never hurt anybody. Mm. Oh, looking good. Thank you. <gasps> uh, more sparkles. Yes, sir. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, your mailman and mime, <laughs> Jamie. Oh, it's a box. He's 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 doing a box. Uh oh, no more glitter. I'll have to run and get the emergency supply from the car. Guard my girl, Steven. <gasps> Sadie, come back here. <coughs> I can't wait for this mystery act. You think it's a juggler? Maybe they'll juggle something sharp. I'm gonna have my phone ready in case someone gets hurt. <gasps> Sadie! Uh, I, I can't breathe. <sighs> okay, okay, if you're not gonna come back and let me work on you, then let's work on the routine. Okay. Just let me. Oh, no! You ruined my lipstick! Never fear, Steven's here. <laughs> Sadie, why did you do that? <laughs> because you're just as bad as my mom! What? Please, Mom, don't make me do this. Make you? You said you wanted to sing. Yeah, I did, I did, I did, I did. Just like I say lots of things, like, hey mom, swimming looks fun, then bam, suddenly I'm anchoring a 400 meter relay for the Beach City Seals. Hey mom, I thought signing up for softball would be nice. Six birthdays later, I'm still getting nothing but knee pads and batting helmets. Hey mom, I want to sing in this year's beach of palooza and what do I get? This! I just thought, for once, I'd get to do things my way, but you came in and took over everything like you always do. I just wanted everyone to know how talented my daughter is. This is not your daughter. I'm sorry. I... Next up, the one you've all been waiting for, the one, the only, mystery guest. Ah, how did I let this happen? I don't want to do this. You never did. It was always me. Give it up for... Looks like you called it, Ganga. That mystery guest bit had Steven written all over it. I can't help it if I make a scene. Stepping out of my hot pink limousine. I'm turning heads and I'm stopping traffic. When I pose, they scream, and when I joke, they laugh. I've got a pair of eyes that they're getting lost in. They're hypnotized by my way of walking. I've got them dazzled like a stage magician. When I point, they look, and when I talk, they listen well. Everybody needs a friend, and I've got you, and you, and you. So many I can't even name them. Can you blame me? I'm too famous. Haven't you noticed I'm a star? I'm coming into view as the world is turning. Haven't you noticed I made it this far? Now everyone can see me burning. Now everyone can see me burning. Now everyone can see me burning. Well, I don't know how we're gonna get through all those ice boulders without causing a cave-in anyway. Hmm. That's how. I just don't know if this will work. <laughs> all right, Centipedal! <laughs> Shooting star, here we come. <sighs> Mm. 
the shooting star. An ancient elemental, so hot and so volatile, it can only be contained in ice. Bare skin cannot endure its intensity. What do you do with the shooting star? Uh, you shoot it. Garnet, you'll need to use your gauntlet so as not to hurt your hands. No, 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 not now! Something's wrong. You did a good job training the centipedal. Your mother would be so proud. She would? The truth is, Rose Quartz had tried to use her powers to save these monsters too, but she was never able to heal them. Never? But if she couldn't do it... Who knows? Maybe when you have better control of your powers, you might help them in ways even your mother couldn't. Even this one. I'll keep it safe. Wow! Steven! You can bubble gems! Wow. Wait for me, Centipedal. I promise I'll heal you up someday. Oh, wait! I've had a lot of time to think today, and sometimes you gotta smarten up. Act like an adult. Because one day, if you don't, everyone you know is gonna grow up without you. And you won't have little Steven to pick on anymore because I'll be a grown-up too. Stephen who? Stephen Quartz Universe! And I want that donut right there! Ah! Ah! Sir, are, are you okay? I'm old! Yeah, and nuts. I'm gonna have to eat fiber cereal, all my teeth are gonna fall out, and then I'll have to eat oatmeal, and it'll be sugar-free! Sugar-free! <laughs> I need to reverse this! I need a reverse birthday! The king costume. Will you help me into my birthday suit? Yeah! Ah! You better run! Ah! Oh! I'm too old for this. Lion! You know, Stephen was right. This is fun. You don't have to keep wearing that stuff. It makes me feel... Important. Steven! What's wrong with him? He's okay. He's just really, 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 really old. Gems can't die from aging, but he's half human. Can't we fix him? My birthday suit might help. Good as new, right? Thanks, guys. But I guess this suit's all out of birthday magic. We had a good run, huh? More birthdays, now. Check it out, B-Day boy. <laughs> I'm a tiny car. Beep, beep. Kids stuff. Live and yada time. It's not working. Pearl, 
get over here. I can't. For Steven! <laughs> oh, look. I have what, um, what appears to be a delicious pie. I sincerely hope that nothing happens to... <laughs> oh, Steven! <laughs> Are you trying to kill him faster? <laughs> I thought violence would be the answer. Would you guys just please control yourselves? Oh, oh no. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled. But I can't stand to see you freaking out like this. What? Steven, you're changing. Your age is fluctuating. I think your gem is reacting to your state of mind. Steven! Stop feeling old! But I wasted your time. We all have such little time. Steven! Steven! You have to feel like yourself. Sweet and considerate and only occasionally obnoxious. Do you really think I'm all those things? Yes. Why else would you throw us all those parties? Oh my gosh, you're right. I am pretty great. Oh, Steven! <laughs> <laughs> Steven! We'll work on the rest later. Please! No more fries! <laughs> Fry bomb! Stop! coming from? Ah, I get it. I pushed you too hard. I thought you wanted to be as good a Fryman as you could be. You're a tough kid for putting up with it as long as you did. The truth is, you're a valued member of Fryman Brothers Incorporated and all its affiliates. Dad! No! Who mash your potatoes? What are you gonna do? My job! Steven! Did you put my missing shard in that fry costume? Yes! Didn't you hear what I said about the living armor and infantries and many, many deaths? No! Oh, Steven. Everywhere. I can't see. Shorts. Need. What? Steven? Dad. <laughs> ah! Go away. Petey. You are awful. I hate you. I've always hated you. Wait. You've always hated Frybo? Talk. Oh. Steven! Where? Attack! I didn't want to do this, but you leave me no choice. I bared my butt, I knew he'd crack. You were great, Frybo. The kids today just didn't understand. 
and now they never will. Weren't people scared of it before he attacked them? Shh. It's time to send him off. <sighs> as greasy in death as he was in life. Dad, um, I'll... Are you going to get another costume? No, I don't need another fry bow. I've got the fry man. Pearl, I think our work here is done. Put your clothes on, Stephen. Garnet, if you move to the ceiling and strike this exact spot, then I can advance with my... Bagel sandwich! Brilliant. Oh, hey, what do you know? Uh, I... How did you know that would work? Well, if I were a shrimp, that's what I would do. You are a shrimp. I just want everyone to know my plan would have also worked. Watch out! Whoa! What are we gonna do? What? Me? What have you got? Cheeseburger back. Pack, cheeseburger, backpack, Pearl, come on. Well, all right. Cheeseburger, backpack, cheeseburger, backpack, cheeseburger, backpack, all right! Ah. Stephen, that's so sensible. Good idea anyway, Stephen. Yeah, they can't all be winners. This is it. The moon goddess pedestal. And the moon is almost overhead. It's not too late to save this piece of history. Stephen, the statue. The spire was falling apart when we got here. You handled everything well under pressure. You did great. Yeah, two out of four of your ideas worked. That's 50%. Yeah, I guess you're right. They can't all be winners. Woo! Cheeseburger backpack! Cheeseburger backpack! Cheeseburger backpack! It's a three-hour paddle home. Anyone want a wet bagel? The, there's more where that came from! Uh-oh. Is it sinking in yet? 
yet. Are you serious? Ah! Amethyst! You never had a chance. Heads up! Huh? Ah! Steven, I can't win. No matter what I do, no matter how hard I work, she came out right, and I came out wrong. That's just what Jasper thinks. She's the only one who thinks you should be like her. But stop trying to be like Jasper. You're nothing like Jasper. You're like me, because we're both not like anybody. And yeah, it sucks. But at least I've got you, and you've got me. So stop leaving me out of this. Us worst gems stick together, right? That's why we're the best. <laughs> oh. What a beautiful day! <gasps> Who are you supposed to be? Oh, yeah. Who am I now? I feel like Amethyst knows this. Forget your name! You gotta fight to win! I think a rose quartz and an amethyst. Make a... Smoky quartz. Is fusion the only trick you crystal gems know? I've got plenty of tricks. Ever say sink the dang... <laughs> 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 No! My army! <laughs> take that! Then take this! <laughs> shouldn't be playing with this. I have to take this back to the temple immediately. No way! You just got it working! Come on, aren't you your own mom? You can do whatever you want. Yeah, you gotta do some donuts in that thing. At least a dozen. Baker's dozen. Seriously, Steven, you've been under a lot of pressure. Don't you think you deserve to have a little fun? <laughs> 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 you really got the hang of that thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, it always hooks to the left. Whoa! I should really get it back to the gems, though. No! no. no. Right after I jump that haystack! Yeah! yeah. Do, Do it! it. Mess it up, Steven. Steven. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay! <laughs> it's not actually so bad if you just give it a little... <laughs> ah! Steven? Guys?
of humans! I can't believe it. Peridot's still inside. She's probably weak from the landing. Don't hold back. Got it. No! Whoa! You got a lot of nerve taking refuge here. Of all places. Garden? But I don't know where you get off attacking defenseless humans in your deadbeat escape pod. Garden! It's me, Steven! Can you hear me? Garden! And if you think you're safe here, well, I've got news for you. You lost! Now! Garden, Garden, Garden! Stay off my planet! Stop! Steven's in there. Steven! What were you doing? You found Peridot's escape pod and you didn't come get us immediately? Dude, we almost wrecked you. Steven, this is unacceptable. I'm very disappointed in you. You're right. Hey, cut him some slack. It's not his fault. Just let him be a DJ! What? We just wanted Steven to have some fun. I don't know what's going on with aliens trying to abduct him and him being his own mom. But it sounds like he's got a lot on his mind. I'm sure whatever you're having him do is important, but everyone needs a break once in a while. He's just a kid. Oh, maybe we have been a little hard on him. He did just break us out of space jail. Steven, you're ungrounded from TV. I'm invincible! What happens after the bubble pops? We'll be free! Steven, this is a bad idea. Where are we? The bottom of the ocean? <gasps> It's okay! Are we even close to the shore? Yeah, sure. Let's start rolling. It's a good thing this bubble is airtight. Otherwise, we'd be drowning right now. <laughs> Don't worry, Connie. I have an idea that will definitely work. When we get back... <laughs> a huge worm! It's okay. Look, it only wants to eat that bright stuff. See? Not scary at all. <laughs> uh, sorry, are you all right? It's not so bad. Uh, it's, it's okay. I, uh... It's not okay! You keep saying that, but you don't know what you're doing. Now we're going to suffocate or starve at the bottom of the ocean. And only my parents will notice because no one else cares about me. Huh? I'm gonna disappear without ever making a single friend. <laughs> friends I saw you at the boardwalk parade last year you dropped your bracelet I picked it up but then I couldn't find you I saved it in the freezer so it would last longer in case I saw you again oh you were the kid on the car wash float you had soap bubbles in your hair I was supposed to be a scrub brush <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry Connie if I ever turned your bracelet back then you wouldn't be stuck in this bubble with me now. No, it's okay. I'm having fun. Please, please. 
Steven? What's going on? What did you do? It was incredible! Really? You mean it? Here's your bracelet. Again. Thanks. <laughs> so, are you going to introduce us? Steven was so excited to meet you. Right, Steven? Uh, <laughs> hey, don't mess with his funky flow. Funky flow? <laughs> so tell me about this game, Steven. Well, I guess it's an arm wrestling simulator, which is a spin-off of a fighting game based on a show about a lonely swordsman that I like. It's kind of weird and hard to explain, but that's why I like it. That sounds just marvelous. <laughs> yeah, I won! Yay, you won. What else do kids do with their parents? Nice catch, son. This is fun. Or would baseball be better? Steven, all sports are beautiful. Each sport is a unique experience. The adrenaline, the glory, the sheer feats of athleticism. Each one so complicated and yet exactly the same. Whoa. Hey, Steven. You know, I've always felt like something was unusual about my adolescence. Maybe this is what I've been missing. Football! <laughs> Touchdown! Steven. I've been, uh, thinking about you a lot lately. More than usual. Is that so? Yeah, well, for my whole life, I've been hearing stories about you. About how amazing you were, that you were so kind and loving. And every time I'd see the painting of you hanging in the temple, I'd be inspired and reminded of how much I had to live up to. I, uh, I've even thought about dyeing my hair pink more than once. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with your hair. It's wonderful just the way it is. Wonderful in every way, just like you. Wow, this is nice. It's it's really nice. I I should have tried this a long time ago. But Stephen, don't you realize we've been together this whole time? Oh, <laughs> that's that, that's right. I, oh, th this is the first time we've hung out together. I gotta capture this moment. There's nothing here but me. I'm just talking to myself. You're not my mom. I'm not? This is how I want you to be, but I don't know if this is who you really are. I've learned things about you, things you wanted to keep secret. You locked Bismuth away inside Lion because she wanted to shatter gems, and you never told Garnet or Pearl. But then you shattered Pink Diamond. Now all of Homeworld has it out for Earth and the Crystal Gems and me. You put us all in danger and you just disappeared. <laughs> Steven, you know that isn't true. In the tape I left you, I told you how much I wanted to have you and let you exist. Do you think what I said to you in the tape was a lie? No, I'm sure, I'm sure you meant it. Hey, Onion! Have you seen Lars and Sadie? They should have just been out here. Hey, if you see them, let me know, okay? Here, have a donut. I'll leave it here for you. See you later. All the lights are on, but no one's here. PD? Oh, Frybits. 
Usually I'm all about the bits, but I'm feeling kind of spooked right now. Ah! Uh, you know what? I think I'm gonna go look around some more. See you later, Frybo! a ghost. Either that or you stayed up all night playing a video game. Dad, I'm freaking out. I feel like I'm stuck inside of some crazy dream. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why don't we share some of those donuts and you can tell me about this crazy night you're having. The gems were trying to tell me something about Mom's room. But I was so mad, I didn't listen. They're always leaving me behind and I guess I wanted to do it to them too. That's not so bad. Everyone needs some alone time now and then. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun for a while, but now the whole city, everyone and everything is acting really weird. Well, the important thing is you told the truth. Yeah, I guess I did. Uh, Dad, your advice is making less sense than usual. Well, the important thing is family and friendship, honesty, values, and no one got arrested. Steven. I want to be back with the gems! <gasps> Garnet! <gasps> Ow. <gasps> You're not clouds! All right, Steven! <gasps> Guys, it was awful! I was trapped in a messed up version of Beach City! Everyone was acting super weird and... Let Rose's room build the whole town? It can't handle a task like that! Thank goodness you're okay! <sighs> It's too big for the van. Easy does it. Is it gonna be okay? Mmm. If every pork chop were perfect, we wouldn't have hot dogs. That thing's getting huge. It's freaking me out. Can't the van go any faster? This is faster. Don't worry. Uh, come on, let's put on your CD. Uh, really? Uh, come on, you've heard it. You come on. I know I'm not that tall. I know I'm not that smart. But let, let me, me drive, drive my, my van, van into, into your, your heart. heart. Let me drive my van into your heart. I know I'm not that rich. I'm trying to get my start. So let me drive my van into your heart. Let me drive my van into your heart. And if we look at a place, well, baby, that's okay. I'll drive us into outer space. Huh? Throw me again. I think I'm cracking it. Is that? He really had it. We're saved! Whoa. Let me drive my man into your heart. 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 Let me drive my man into your heart.
to work. I just said that thing that Dad always says. That thing about pork rinds? Hot dogs. Rose. <laughs> my fan! It's okay, Dad. If every pork chop were perfect... I love my fan! Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Actually, it's mostly carbonite. Would that make it Carbony. Oh, 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 amethyst. Check out this. Hmm. Rhythmatic pulverizer. Ah! <laughs> That's funny. I'm so funny. <laughs> Whatever, dude. That was the incorrect response. Hey, amethyst isn't laughing when I do these things. Why isn't she laughing? Peridot, you really hurt her feelings. What? You were pretty mean to her at the kindergarten. Mean? No way. I was being cool. Amethyst loved it. She's probably telling the Pearl how much fun she had now. Amethyst, I, I, I Amethyst. She, she won't even look at me. It's making me feel smaller. You feel bad. That's how you made her feel. <sighs> Who cares about how she feels? Who cares about any of you? You're all just rocks. Muddy clump beneath my gravity connector! <sighs> Another one of her temper tantrums. I'm surprised you two made it back from the kindergarten without driving each other crazy. Yeah. This little thing. <sighs> How's everything going up there? I'm fine. There's nothing wrong. Everything's fine. Uh, no, 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 stop! Paradox? <laughs> the panel! Huh? Whoa! Wait! <laughs> it's okay, I got it! <laughs> what the? Uh, amethyst! <laughs> It was an accident. I swear. Hey, don't worry about it. We know you didn't mean to start the drill. Uh, yeah. And that was an accident, too. We leave for one second and everything goes off the rails. I blame the cows. No, it's fine. It's fine. 
We'll rebuild it. Stronger, better. We'll add seat belts. <sighs> hey, are you all right? That was a close one. It's a good thing Peridot was there to save you. Yes, it is a good thing. Listen, I, um... Just spit it out. Gah. Why are you Earth ones so difficult? Lock gate 7112. This entire planet is backwards. There hasn't been one instance of correct behavior exhibited by any one of these crystal gems. I have concluded that they are all defective. But I am no better. I failed my mission and now I'm working with the enemy. And I can't even get that right. I have apparently hurt Amethyst's feelings, which was not my intent. If I've damaged my standing with the best gem here, then I've made a serious mistake. I'm still learning. I hope you understand. I want to understand. I'm sorry. Peridot, Sasset 5, end log. As you could see. Oh, Peridot. <laughs> he, uh, Peridot. Thanks. But you're still a nerd. I'll be sure to add that to my notes. How do you feel? Big. And bam! The secret team is back on top! Steven, secret team is over. Secret team? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh, come on. We had so much fun together. Getting along, sneaking around. Steven, that was not about fun. That was about fixing our terrible mistake. Uh, your terrible mistake? You shouldn't have had that bubble in the first place. It never would have popped if you hadn't invaded my personal space. Oh, come on, team, team. Fine, you can have all the personal space you want, because I never want to be on a team with you again. <gasps> Good, I don't want to be on a team with you either. Fine, fine. Guys, come on. I'm here. I have something I want to tell you. Pizza. No! I need to come clean. Pearl and Amethyst popped a bubble. We made a secret team to cover it up because they didn't want you to know. And now you're trying to do the right thing. Not really, I just want secret team again. I see. I know how to handle things with them. We'll have to form our own secret team to do it. <gasps> you mean like a super secret team? Pizza daughter, I'll take one pizza posse card. <gasps> Garnet! What's the deal? Steven! What's this all about, Garnet? I know all about the gem shards. Uh... It... it was me! I'm the one who popped the bubble, all by myself. Steven, I can't believe you. If no one has anything else to say, and everyone else is innocent, Steven, I'm going to have to punish you. No, not punishment. <sighs> Come with me, Steven. You two can't get along unless you think I'm going to kill you. Steven, I know you wanted to help them. 
You wanted to protect them, even from me. They made you feel like you had to take their side. But there are no sides, because we're all in the same team. The Crystal Gems! <laughs> You know what? Between the four of us, we could have had a free pizza. Wait! Wait! I've got it! That will kill you faster. Not funny! Oh. Nice noggin, Steven. <laughs> We're ready, Garnet. Wait, you're going on a mission? Hold on! Don't leave me! At least tell me what's gonna happen with my lunch. Do I choke on a pickle? Mm, you don't choke on a pickle. That means something else happens with the pickle. Garnet, shouldn't we be going? Steven, I can't be with you all the time. Just trust me when I say that you are in control. And do not go on the roof, no matter what. happened to me on the roof. Ah! <sighs> okay. Calm down. Maybe I should just get a snack. <gasps> but what if... <clears throat> How come you guys are back? We're made of magic. Yeah, magic. <laughs> <laughs> Master of Ceremonies, Bear Bear. I'm a big boy now. Big boy now. Boy now. What's happening to me? I'm supposed to be a crystal gem. I'm supposed to be a crystal gem! if I told you about my power. I saw this, and I told you anyway. But why? I took a risk at your expense. There was a chance you'd understand this and we'd be closer. Steven, I see so many things that can hurt you. I should never have let one of them be me. There are millions of possibilities for the future, but it's up to you to choose which becomes reality. Please understand, you choose your own future. I do understand, I... What am I doing? I guess I can't really see a future for myself up here. <clears throat> I'll watch out for myself from now on. What was that? I could have tamed you, I could have shown That I could depose you from your loud throne But in the end I wasn't good enough I just showed the gems that I ain't got the stuff Oh, Wailing Stone I tried so hard to fly but I was thrown Oh, oh Wailing Stone I gotta tell the gems cause they should know have a little, have a little, have a little faith in me I just wanted to help, you know I have a little, have a little, have a little expertise I know it's not much, but if it could come in handy I'd wanna be there 
I think so highly of you, it just isn't fair that you have so little faith. Eh, that's a B-side. Dad, I hate seeing you like this. There's gotta be something else we can try. Uh, I don't know, Steven. I mean, sound and stuff like this? This stuff's my whole world, and if I can't figure this out, then maybe it isn't even sound. But Dad, if it isn't sound, then what else could it be? Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Wait. What? Dad! I'm not that far away from you, buddy. What if it's... Uh, some other thing I'm not good at? Magic eyeballs. Oh my days, it's video. We have to tell the gems. Video! Hey, slow down. I just want to help. Have some faith in... <coughs> Way over here. I know my audio equipment seems like a pile of earth junk to y'all, but I... Greg, it's okay. No, it's not. You guys don't give up on anything. Except for me. Come on. It's not like I can make it any worse. Go for it, Garnet. Okay, Amethyst, try it now. Never started a car with a key before. <laughs> That's way easier. The battery's ready to go. The Wailing Stone's ready. Ready with the video cord, Steven? Ready. Is that it? Just a second. I... I heard something. Come on. Steven! Lapis? I did it! I hope you're able to hear this. There's a gem that's looking for you. She even knew your name. I don't know how. I didn't tell her, I swear. She's on her way to Earth. And she's not alone. Steven, homeworld, it's not the way it used to be. Everything here is so advanced. I can't even understand it. There's no way anything on Earth can stand up to it. Please, don't put up a fight. It will only lead to devastation. It's Peridot. She must be talking about Peridot. She's coming for us! Lapis, she sounds so unhappy. I really cannot this believe this is bad happening. news. This is not what are we good. gonna do? You. What? Huh? We did it. What? We got the message. But... It's got. Thank you, Greg. We would not have received this message without your help. You... you're welcome. My dad is... The best. Oh my gosh, Steven's a robot. Help, I can't relate to my robot son. My mind is the internet. I know every continuity mistake ever made on television. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm so annoying. Maybe it's time for me to quit the music business. <laughs> that Steven and the Stevens was gonna be a lighthearted throwback to early rock and roll. Not this mess of screaming and distortion. Look, Steven, Steven and I were talking, and Steven agrees. Your attitude just isn't working for us. We've been a lot more productive without you. We already wrote an angsty song about that time you made us feel bad for not being handsome. You're kicking me out of the band? Wait, who's playing drums? Amethyst said she'd do it. I'm down for whatever. Oh, come on! <laughs> Whoa, dude. Listen up! You can't kick me out of the band! I'm the original Steven! I created you! Steven and the Stevens was my idea! Without me, you'd all be nothing! Huh? That's it! <laughs> Steven, no! <laughs> Wish I could have been there to tell my dad you were too... Don't start the band, Steven. It'll only tear us apart. <laughs> we all have turkeys. You'll never catch me, you turkeys. Huh? We gotta stop me. I'm okay, guys. I just... <laughs> Too far back. <laughs> huh? 
Time thing, Steven. Wait, are you future me? Just hurry up and give it! What? Oh. Oh, don't make me hurt me, Steven! Why do you need it so bad? Just give it to me! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Give it up, Steven! I know everything you're gonna do before you do it! Oh. <laughs> Look around you! This isn't right! When Steven fights Steven, who is the winner? What have we become? What is this? What's wrong with what have we become? We're not the Stevens we once were. And to fix that, I have to end it! with you. The boat's fat. You gotta find another way. I don't know what you're talking about. Stay cool forever, Steven. Mwah. Arrivederci. Ah! Like this? Yeah, you guys are killing it. And here's some pots and pans. We gotta make lots of noise. Dad and I do this every year. I brought some for Amethyst, too. They should be here any second. Why would she come with Greg? <gasps> are they hanging out again? What do you mean again? They better not be watching that dumb show. Little Butler? Unbelievable! They really are! They used to disappear for days, watching those obnoxious tapes over and over and over until... Until what? I don't know. One day they just stopped. <laughs> Happy New Year, Stephen. How's my volume? It's low. <gasps> What's that? I'm missing the fireworks. It's past midnight. How did I get so sucked into the show again? It's like everything else just disappears. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, don't go. We're having a really good time. Here, look. I've got the two-part Hawaii special. But Steven really wanted me to do New Year's. He'll be fine. He's Steven. He's tough. I wanted to be there. Here, here. It would have been like this. Whoa, fireworks! <laughs> hey, Dad, come on. Now let's watch some Little Butler. Amethyst, you know how I feel about shape-shifting. Geez, sorry. I was just trying to cheer you up. Oh, that's right. I forgot you're so sensitive. I know you like making me uncomfortable, but it's not funny. I can't stay here and humor you. I have to be there for my son. Well, what about me, huh? I had someone who was always there for me until she started hanging out with you! Don't do this, Amethyst. Seriously. I bet you'd stay for her. You wouldn't. What? Do this? Hey, Greg, <laughs> turn around. Check it out. I know you're doing it. I want to be friends again. I really do. But I can't let you do this to me again. Stop! What are you two doing? I get it. It's hard to deal with stuff from the past. You want to put it off because there's tons of it, and it's really heavy, and... It means a lot to you, so it's hard to let anything go. But you gotta, because this thing is full! Seriously, when did you even have a cow? Okay, we're finishing this today. Right. What? Pearl? Hello, Greg. 
nice of you to join us. I don't believe it. Whoa. I'm so sorry about the mess. Was this your idea? Well... It was Amethyst's idea. I... I just thought we could take all this stuff back to the temple. It can fit in my room. That way you don't have to throw anything away. But... But you can keep this. Oh, thank you, Amethyst. Steven, no! <laughs> <laughs> You're banned from all the rides, forever! Whoa, we made it? I carried you while you took a nap. <laughs> nap! We're back where we started. What? Darn it, there you are. The doors and rooms here make no sense. They all bring you back here. Get me out of here. There are 16 doors and we entered from the northeast and went through three consecutive rooms in a straight line. Ow! But arrived back here out the southernmost door, which can only mean, well, I don't know what it means. I... This is a death trap! What? What do we do? We go back in, again, and again, and again, and again. I can't! Steven! It's okay. No! No, it's not! You were all right about me. I wanted to do this so bad, but now I feel like I'm gonna throw up. This is just like the teacups! Oh, Steven, I didn't really mean that. Wait! Ah, wait, you guys! What if this is just like the teacups? That's why we're getting so lost. That's why I'm feeling so sick. All the rooms are spinning us around, so we end up here. Unbelievable! This gem-powered mechanism! It's manipulating the rooms above! Every room we entered spun us until we came back to the central chamber! It's just like the teacup ride at Funland! Steven already figured that out! Oh... <gasps> Garnet! I need to get off the ride now! Serious, Steven? Go! say you handled that adventure very well. Yeah, nice job, Sirius Steven. I prefer regular to Steven. Hey, my ukulele! Oh, that's the end of another day. It was mighty serious, so I'd have to say. The crystal gems looked really cool when they made the temple explode. Oh, they're in my eyes again! Ah! My best, uh... I can't believe this. The only one taking anything seriously around here is Pumpkin. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. Pearl does like soap. Uh, hey, you gonna bring our car down? Do not interrupt the garnets! Everyone!
everyone will have a turn! Oops. Peridot, put that guy down! No one bosses the Garnet! Well, Garnet wouldn't yell at people. I agree. Maybe you should let someone else play. The Garnet. Eh. Uh. Amethyst, only gone it. What are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, oh no, I gotta Steven this somehow. Look at us. We're all fighting with each other. Uh, but we all love each other. And you all love me. So we all have to do this together for love. Steven would have had a better speech. I know. She didn't even cry. <sighs> the wash was a wash. And so were the new crystal gems. I've done a lot of thinking about what's been going wrong with this team up, and I think it's obvious now that the problem is all of you! Connie, you completely lack Steven's sentimentality. He would have had a much more inspiring speech yesterday. Lapis, your lack of humor has been hurting our morale. Maybe you should switch with Pumpkin. Let's make Pumpkin the Garnet. You should be the Pearl. I'm nothing like Pearl. She's so uptight and sensitive. <laughs> How dare you, I'm leaving! That's so funny. You should be Amethyst. That's so dumb. You should be a Claude. Oh, so now I'm a Claude? I think you're the Claude. Wow. You're Peridot and President Loudy, too! Will you two can it? That's not a very Steven thing to say. I don't care. So I'm not Steven. Maybe he's really great at helping people work out these arguments. Maybe he's really patient and caring, even though it must be hard for him having to be the adult for a bunch of super-powered children. We're both thousands of years older than you. Then act like it! Be the gems you've been for thousands of years instead of playing this silly game. It's impossible trying to solve problems if we're just trying to copy other people. Oh, what's the point of this? We'll never be the crystal gems. We're just the crystal temps. But we have our own way of doing things. So let's go back to that to fix this mess we made. You do make a good Steven. Watch it. Well, if there's one thing Peridots are good at, it's fixing things. I guess I could help wash away the rubble. And I'll help us organize. Uh, so here's how I think we should start. You sure you wrecked anything? The car wash looks good as new. Well, except we couldn't repair the sign. Well, about time I got a new one. Guess I'll give my neon guy a call. Well, don't get out your checkbook yet. Bring it on out! Introducing a new sign for your business. We made it ourselves. Look at it, it's great. I think I love it. Hold on, an exit, woo! <gasps> Skills, get back here. You're completely missing the point of this. <laughs> hey, wait a second, Steven. There you are. Pearl, sweet! Two out of three! Oh, oh! Steven, be careful! Why? What? Huh? Whoa! You really shouldn't be in here. This is the Crystal Heart. Oh, it's connected to the most dangerous areas of the temple. Hold on tight and don't look down. Huh? Oh! Oh! So bad. Ah! Oh, never mind. Whoa! 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 
have any forks, but we can use our heads. I'm not gonna judge. Steven, go! Okay, wanna meet in the kitchen? <laughs> Trying to escape. Force it back. I guess I dream too big. Let's order pizza. Pizza's Certain a better idea. idea. Yeah, let's yeah, yeah, yeah. do that. I Definitely. Like it. It's good. should not be in possession of such an item. Aren't these Stevens, little man? Oh, they're called guys! Can you please explain this mess? I traded that replicator for Ranger Guy! Steven, why didn't you just replicate Ranger Guy? Dang it! Let's go before this gets any worse. What? Ugh, how do you move in this stuff? Try and act like a rich duck. What does that mean? Oh my gosh, I just wanted some ice cream! Hi, Greg. What the heck is going on out here? Uh, you know, just doing our thing. Hand it over. It doesn't belong to you. <laughs> this is not a game. What did he shoot? At least his 
stop raining toys. Ah, Rich, stop! Letting Amethyst borrow anything again. <laughs> Darn it! I'm not cleaning up this mess. I think I understand why you took my ranger guy, Onion. I bet you get pretty lonely waiting for your dad all day. You were probably really bored, too. And because you missed your dad, you took my ranger guy, which is a symbol of the relationship I have with my dad. No? Just the first thing? Well, here. You need it more than I do. Let's go. So all the stuff that got copied turned into nothing? Yep. Rats. That was really cool what you did back there. Thanks, Dad. But you went through all that trouble for a toy? It was more about the memories than the toy. Now we have new memories. Horrible, horrible memories. You had fun at the boardwalk, right? Harry! Oh, come on. You gotta work with me here. This is Pearl's favorite tree. Don't you recognize it? What's on your mind? Come on, don't hold back. Challenge accepted! What? Oh no, the tree! Challenger defeated! Ooh. Real Pearl would never do that! Ah, you're hopeless! Get away from me! It's too bad you're still not back, Pearl. Because I just found a copy of the fifth Lonely Blade movie! <sighs> How long are you gonna make me wait, Pearl? <gasps> oh, the popcorn's done! Stay right there! <gasps> Do you wish to test your skills against me in a duel? No! No sword fighting! Draw your sword and fulfill your destiny! <gasps> no! Leave real Pearl and me alone! Go back under your sheet! Brother, is that you? Yes, it's me, your brother. Your technique is Whoa. No this dog is really good. Traits. What do you think, Pearl? Harry! Yeah. Brother! <laughs> brother! Just wait a minute. You're not my real brother! Ah, brother <laughs> Blade! Your technique is impressive. It's about waiting carefully for the perfect moment. <laughs> the TV! Why must you destroy the things I love? Challenger defeated. Continue? I hate you! I hate you! You're nothing like Pearl! Pearl is smart, and she always wants to protect me from danger. All you want to do is fight me! Challenge accepted! <laughs> All right, fine! Basic attack mode initiated! Harry! Harry! Thrust! Harry! Don't Harry! Don't see thrust. that! Harry! Harry! Thrust! <laughs> Basic attack mode defeated! Now initiating advanced mode! Challenger wins! Do you wish to duel again? No! Steven, we have fighting. Ow! Are you alright? What's going on? Oh, just mopping. <gasps> Die! You know, I might miss Pearl a whole lot, but sometimes you just have to accept things the way they are before you. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> that 
That's much better. Oh, hey. Miss me much? Oh, man, I had this whole thing planned out for when you came back. Uh, Steven, what happened to your room? I don't even want to know what happened to you. I got hit by an airplane. Well, I have to thank Steven for cooking the vegetables, and Amethyst for putting out that grease fire. And starting it. Oh, and thanks to Greg for lending his van. I guess you could say we could thank everyone. Yes. Was everyone thanked? Raise your hand if you were thanked. Hey, uh, what about Andy? Hmm. Thank you, Andy, for showing up. Because of you, everyone came out here to the barn, and and now we're all in one place together for the first time in a while. And it's actually pretty great. So, cheers! Cheers! <laughs> you can have it. The barn. It's yours. Did we do something wrong? I thought I said something really sentimental. No! Wait, he can't leave? Lapis. Hmm. Uh, what was I thinking? Hi, Uncle Andy! Ah, what, what are you doing, kid? I thought everything was going really well. Is something wrong? Yeah, something's wrong. You're a mile in the sky hanging off a floating lady. Go home! Why'd you leave? I'm the only one who didn't. It was your goofball father who was the first one to hightail it out of here. Then after him, it was Aunt Deb. She and her partner got the RV. No reason to stick around with that thing. Grandpa moved to the Keys. Too old to make the drive anymore. I was the only one who tried to keep everything how it used to be. I knew what it meant to really be a family. And look what that got me, huh? Nothing! Uh, no, wait! Hold on. Ah! Throw me onto the plane. Okay. What? I swear, if you throw him, I'll... Whoa! I'll meet you back at the barn. Roger. Oh. You're throwing off my balance. You're gonna bring us both down. Andy, I love that we both eat cake. What? And you have that cool hat. And you know how to peel potatoes. And you need a plane to fly. I love the gems, but I'm a human, too. I never had a chance to know that part of my family, but now I do. Andy, I want to be your family. Isn't that why you came back? Ah! Ah, Steven, you better hold on! Ah! Ah! Steven! Steven! Float, 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 apple pie, video games, fresh laundry. Uncle Andy, you sure are good at Do you have any idea what could have happened to you? What good are you to me as family if you... Sorry. Look, I just... I'm just glad that you're safe. Just doesn't feel fair. Everything got so different. I want everybody to stay the same, but they... They just didn't. Jeez, what am I even doing? I got an airplane. I could have been visiting everybody everywhere they went. I could have known about you. I guess I could have just changed, too, you know? It's not too late. We're here, if you want us to be. No. Say Claude. Claude. Woo, woo, woo! Steven! Hi! Andy, it's good to see you again. I'm sorry if... Hey, uh, you guys probably got a lot of leftovers, right? I, I, I just figured I'd come back and help you with that, you know, since you don't eat and all.